Hello, I'm Ben from Meku, and in this video, we're making a double-sided injection mold level quality part. We're going to show you how to extend the power of your 3D printing setup. With the multiplier, you can make production parts rapidly out of pure thermoplastics. To make these components, we're going to be designing two different tools. So for better results and easy part removal, there's a few considerations you want to take into account when designing for thermoforming. And we've got a really extensive guide on how to design for thermoforming on our website. We're going to be using a high temperature SLA resin for both of the tools. You want to make sure it's been post-processed very well and all of the air holes have been evacuated of resin and you're happy with the final result. So to prepare your tool for thermoforming, you want to give it about four coats with a dry PTFE spray. And now we're using a sheet of pure black hips. You can create a completely custom profile for the material that you're using or one of the profiles on the machine. When placing your models into the bed, always try and keep them in the center. The material is now at the perfect temperature. Lock it and then release all of the air. And at the end of the cooling cycle, we'll be able to open the machine and remove the forms part. Now we're going to do a rough cut on the bandsaw just to get it off the excess sheet and get it ready for finishing. You can attach this part to a jig and automate your workflow by using a laser cutter or a CNC. Double-sided injection mold level quality part with pure thermoplastics and a highly repeatable workflow. To learn more about the workflow, you can download our PDF guide from our website.